Hi, um, I've avoided this subject in the past because there are other videos out there on how to do this and I don't like reinventing the wheel, but a um, lot of questions about fixing um, the carbon bird motors and in particular how to get the circlip back on after you do it. And it is a bit tricky, but I do have a trick and that's really what this is about. I've already pulled this circlip off. And actually, when I fix a motor, I don't even tend to pull it off the arm of the quadcopter. I tend to do it in place. But anyway, first thing you need to do whenever you're fixing any motor is get the circlip off. And usually I can prise them off with a screwdriver. Then you usually find the two little nylon one or two, depending on how the motor was built. Nylon washers also get you stuck. But once you've got them out of the way... Yes, I actually have more trouble pulling them apart than putting them back together again. Once you've got them out of the way, you can simply pull the can out of the motor. Which is a lot easier when uh, the motor is on the arm because you've got better hand. So then we have the two parts, the can and the stator. Okay, now this is a 775 motor, but all of the, the older ones, uh, but all the carbon bird motors work the same way. So, having got my can off, I don't have to worry about the stator for a little while. I need to firstly get the old shaft out, then I need to get a new shaft in. So, first thing to do is pull the grub screw out of the back of the motor. Done. I actually leave it on the driver. Then I have my very trusty, badly beaten, but great block of wood. What makes this great? Well, lots of holes drilled in it. One of them lets me sit a can in it with the shaft down in there. I've also got these other holes which let me solder connectors, but that's another video. Then what I do is I take a shaft that is smaller than the diameter of the, the motor shaft, and I hit it with a hammer. And I'm going to pause at this point in time because the last thing you guys need to do is hear me hitting this with a hammer. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've knocked that shaft out of the can. So there's my old shaft. And if I roll it on the desk, it's pretty easy to see if it's bent or not. And that one actually isn't. So, you know, because waste not, what not. I'm going to put the old shaft back in because this one isn't actually bent. But this is really, movie is really about showing you how I do this. So I cheat. Now, here's the important stuff. You need to find two things. Where the grub screw goes and the slot in the motor because you need those two things to line up. So I'm going to look at that flat face, have it facing directly towards me, have the grub screw and the can facing directly towards me. And I'm just going to nudge that shaft into there enough. Grab my little block of wood. Give that just a little tap. That's only just in. It's not in enough for the final motor to be built, but it's just in. And I've done it so that that flat spot is going to be lined up with the grub screw. Now I take my stator and pop the stator with the loose bearing back over my motor. All right. Now the really cool thing now is the circlip slot is right up there. So what I can do, what I do now is place my nylons on and now I can really easily holding this with a little pair of pliers push the circlip onto that groove of the shaft losing it in the process. A lot easier than doing it later. Okay, so I just push the circlet on in place there. Okay, remembering this would probably be still attached to the arm. I haven't, don't even have to pull the motor off the airframe to actually do all this. Okay, so now we've got a circlet sitting here, about a centimetre too high. Grab my trusty block of wood and... Sorry about the noise, guys. Tap that back down now. That's still too loose. 
Okay, so I'm going to give that another tap. I can feel a bit of play. And now I've got no free play in that motor. And if I look through my grub shaft hole, I can actually see the flat of the motor. Grab my grub screw back. Dot a Loctite. Grub screw back in. One fixed motor. So that's how I do it. That's how I get the, the circlips on and off. Or back on more importantly. The motor's back together again. And um, doing it that way, cheating by only partly inserting the shaft into the can, you actually find you can not only uh, get the circlip on a lot quicker, but you also get rid of the free play in the motor um, using the uh, good old fashioned American screwdriver, the tapometer, to uh, gently to knock it back in. You need to be gentle as you're knocking these in. You don't want to bend the new shaft as you're fitting it. But that's a motor ready to work again. Catch you guys online.